Good evening, everybody, uh, and welcome to our spring startup matchmaking. My name is Melissa Kaufman. I'm the executive director of The Garage Startup Central here at Northwestern. And tonight is spring startup matchmaking. So this is an opportunity for student startups in the garage's residency and tinker programs to find teammates. Uh, tonight's event brings together students from across all levels of study at Northwestern, graduate, undergraduate, PhD students, and from all corners of, the, of uh, Northwestern, all of our different schools. I'm sure that your perfect match is somewhere on the Zoom call. Um, in our virtual format, we're gonna welcome 26 student-founded startup teams to pitch and share what they're looking for. Um, followed by, we're gonna do personal Zoom rooms for each team so that if you are an interested student and you wanna shop around be between a couple different rooms, you'll have the opportunity to do that. Um, my colleague, Elisa, has just put the first posting in our chat tonight here on Zoom. Um, she's gonna be posting a link with the descriptions of each of the teams and the Zoom rooms that they'll be in. If we have anyone joining late, she'll be posting that same link periodically throughout tonight's event. Um, after all of the teams have done their 60 second pitches, the pitching teams will move to their Zoom room. And then if you're looking to join a team, that's when you can spend time, uh, the last 30 minutes of tonight's event circulating between those rooms. Before we get started, I do want to extend a warm welcome to all of the admitted Northwestern undergraduates that are watching tonight on YouTube Live. Uh, we hope that you will choose Northwestern, especially if you're interested in entrepreneurship and startups. Um, although matchmaking is primarily for current Northwestern students, um, if you are really inspired by a team, if you'd like to connect, uh, send us an email at thegarage at northwestern.edu and uh, we will get you connected with the team. Just try to remember the name of the team or the person pitching. All right, uh, I think we're good to go. We're gonna let one more person in from the waiting room and we're gonna start the pitching process. We'll pitch in alphabetical order, 60 seconds only please, so we can be efficient tonight. Um, please try to stay on mute unless you're uh, pitching, to shake yourself off mute, do your 60 second pitch. And I'm gonna call each of you in alphabetical order. If you're not here, uh, we'll skip over you and maybe we'll come back to those teams at the end if we have time. All right, with that, we're gonna go with our first team. So up first tonight is Belay Securities. Dan, go ahead. Hi, I'm Daniel. Um, I've been a resident a few times already at the garage and my startup is Belay Securities. Um, essentially is what we do is that we provide and securitize income stability for gig drivers. And we recently raised a sizable pre-seed with an all-star fintech advisory team from Two Sigma, Two Sigma Ventures and more places. Um, so why might you want to join Belay? Uh, the first reason is that we're uh, funded so we have a budget to compensate you for, for your work. Uh, the second reason is that we're engineering first and you'll learn industry standard engineering practices and tech stacks and have every line of your code reviewed by me, an ex-Amazon and ex-Snapchat engineer. And the last reason I can think of is that you'll be part of a rapidly growing fintech startup with a top-notch advisor team and working to provide financial stability to those who need it the most. So who we're looking for is an app engineer intern, a machine learning engineer intern, and a market research intern. So I'm going to be posting a Google form in the chat and you can come down to my uh, Zoom if you have any more questions. All right, thank you. That was Daniel with Belay Securities. Again, there's a link to a Google Doc in uh, in the chat of Zoom, and you guys can check that out as we can see all of the teams, the Zoom rooms, and the contacts. Thank you. All right, up next, um, it looks like we're gonna have uh, Martha teaching uh, pitching for Busy. Yeah, hi. So I'm Martha. I'm one of the co-founders for Busy. So we're the Yelp of ethically driven shopping. We help shoppers find local businesses that match their values through a unique badging system. So we've onboarded over 100 Evanston business, businesses onto our platform, and we established a partnership with the Evanston Chamber of Commerce. And we're currently looking for two developers to join our tech team to help us develop the mobile version of our website. So yeah, we're really looking forward to, forward to chatting with you guys. Great, thank you, Busy. Up next is Blip Energy. Hey everyone, I'm Thibaut and I'm a co-founder of Blip Energy. We focus on expanding consumer access to energy storage. Uh, we're building a smart battery product that provides 2.2 kilowatt hours of backup power that pays for itself in under three years by taking advantage of price arbitrage. Um, and by shifting household energy use, Blip helps reduce peak energy load and just make the world a better place by getting rid of 30 peak of power plants. We've raised close to $500,000, have been up and running for more than a year, have a team of 20 mostly Northwestern or former Northwestern University students with us. I think we, we have a great culture and atmosphere um, and we're currently looking for a UI UX designer and a social marketing intern. 
Great. Thank you, Blip Energy. Up next, Community Currency, Jacob and Lola. Hi, everyone. My name is Jacob, and I'm here representing Community Currency. Uh, we're a registered 501c3 nonprofit organization led by Northwestern undergraduates. And essentially what we do is collect and convert foreign currency in order to fund summer camps hosted by the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago for underprivileged youth in the local area. And if that sounds super complicated, it's really not. Our organization's role is pretty much focused on the leadership and strategy aspect of the whole process, which relies heavily on our many partnerships that we have with other organizations. And actually in the last six months or so, we've been working on a contract with O'Hare International Airport in order to operate at the currency exchanges in the airport, which will be super exciting operation once it goes underway. So right now we're looking to bring on a few people to take over some key leadership roles as a couple of us are graduating. So whether you might be interested in the technical or financial side of uh, currency conversion or the social impact side of uh, relationship building with their charitable partners, or if you just want to kind of get a general feel for the world of nonprofits, this is a great chance to get some impressive leadership experience on your resume and also have that flexibility of actually running an organization rather than just working for one. So yeah, I'm happy to talk more details in the Zoom room after this. Thanks, Jacob. For those of you that are just joining us, uh, please do leave yourselves on mute. We're going to go through uh, the remainder of the student pitches, then you'll have an opportunity to join them one on one in a Zoom room after the pitches are over. Up next, Cue the Curves. Hi hey everyone, I'm Charlotte and I'm the founder of Cue the Curves. Cue the Curves is a community platform for plus size women to be able to discuss fashion and discover their style. We use the forum approach to allow community building and to have real and honest conversations and hold brands accountable for how they're serving their plus size customers. We actually recently won Chicago Startup Week and a lot of cool benefits came with that, including a office space in downtown Chicago for the summer if you decide to join the team. Um, we're specifically looking for someone to help out with our weekly fashion newsletter, as well as some UX UI developers to help us continue to develop our app. Even if neither of these positions fit you exactly, if you're passionate about body positivity and size inclusion, please feel free to come chat. Great. Thanks, Charlotte. Up next is Design and Elevate Studios. Hello, so I'm Mad. I'm one of the founders of Design and Elevate Studios. We are a design consulting startup slash student group. So it's really, um, I'll explain that we're focused on community-based design practices and equity, equitable design. We work with a range of partners. Right now we're working with the Evanston Arts Center. We're working with Northwestern Medicine's Innovation Department and um, as well as like Feinberg Med students. So our projects do vary a lot and they're really going to be, a, give you a broad overview of design and to me, design isn't just engineering, so do not be put off by that. Like, if you're curious and you have a creative soul and you want to show that, we're down for that. Great, thank you. Up next is eSpeak. Hello, everyone. My name is Hung, and I'm the founder of eSpeak. So the problem that we are solving is that in Southeast Asia, the demand of learning English is in the top highest in the world. People there spend their guys learning the language so they can read and write in English pretty well, but there's no viable solution for people to improve their English speaking. And that really hinders them from accessing better job or education opportunities. Therefore, our solution is to provide one-on-one -on -one professional English speaking lessons by matching the learners with MBA and college students in the US who share common professional experience or interests. So far, we have had more than 100 people sign up to be on our platform. And next, we are looking for a developer who will also join us in the Jumpstart at the garage, which will provide stipend and coaching. I hope to see you later in my personal meeting, meeting room where we will share more details. Great, thank you so much. Uh, up next is Explorate. Hi everyone, I'm Sherry and I'm the founder of Explorate. Um, have you ever had times when your expectation and reality just don't line up? If your answer is yes, then you already got our major pain point figured out. It's frustrating when you don't know what to expect, but it's even worse when you're in, traveling alone in a foreign country. So that's where we come in. Think of us as basically the Yelp for international volunteering. And we hope to make international volunteering feel more at home through sharing transparent information about different programs and build a community to connect volunteers and nonprofits around the world. And this quarter, we're working on learning about the journey of independent travelers, 
building our community on Facebook campus and Instagram and polishing our website. So we're looking for a CFO or business analyst or whatever you want to call yourself um, kind of person to work on market research and an affiliate liaison to communicate with nonprofits throughout the world. But if you just have general interest in international volunteering but have other skill sets, feel free to stop by and we'd love to have you. Thank you. Up next, Homebase. Hey guys, my name is John and I'm with Homebase. Uh, we're a real estate listing platform for Northwestern student off-campus housing. Um, and we're just trying to make the, the off-campus house search process easier for students. Uh, we're a one-stop shop, so you can go for rentals, sublets, uh, or anything, you know, um, off-campus real estate. Uh, we're looking for web developers and business analysts. Um, for business analysts, uh, we're like a pretty flat organization. So as soon as you come in, you'll um, you, you have a lot of input and any like project or anything you're interested in, you can come in and kind of implement that yourself. Um, so, so yeah, if you're interested, um, I'm going to be putting the, um, Google form in the chat, um, but feel free to come talk more. Thanks, John. Up next is Indigo Social Club. Eden? Hi, my name is Eden and I'm excited to be representing Indigo Social Club, which is set to launch soon as an events company focused on curating pop-up nightlife in the Evanston area. So if you're a Northwestern student who enjoys nightlife, you've probably noticed the lack of it around here, especially after pandemic shutdowns. And instead of just opening a bar from scratch, we realized that there are lots of cool spaces in Evanston that could serve as nightlife venues, but don't have anyone to plan events or reach the Northwestern community. So this is why we chose the pop-up model. And in this stage, over a dozen, a dozen venues have already agreed to host pop-up nightlife events in the fall. Some of these include Prairie Moon, The Graduate Hotel, Todoroki, and Bat 17. So as an intern for Indigo Social Club, you would have the opportunity to work on business partnerships, legal contracts, marketing, outreach, or building the website, depending on your preferences. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them in the breakout room after this. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Eden. Quick shout out to all of our admitted students uh, watching the live stream on YouTube Live. We hope that you will pick Northwestern, and we hope that you'll be at Startup make Matchmaking with us next year. All right, now time for our next pitch. Moving on to InfernoGuard, Kevin. Hey everyone, my name is Kevin and I'm a co-founder of InfernoGuard. We're developing a patented wildfire detection and warning system to improve response time for at-risk communities. Our product collects and analyzes environmental data and then directly notifies a user of any potential risk. And right now we're at the unique juncture where we're finalizing our product and developing a go-to-market strategy. But prior to launch, we need an intern um, who can help us with various optimization models. So we're looking for any industrial engineers or students comfortable optimizing using a variety of technical and environmental data. Um, you know, this intern would play an integrate role in helping us launch. And if this sounds like you, or if there's another skill set that you think you can bring to our team, please stop by my room and learn more. Thanks. Great, thank you. Up next is, I think I'm saying it right, Jay's? Correct. Great. Awesome. Hi, everyone. I'm Jamie. I'm currently a Kellogg MBA student and founder of Jays, the only women's flat that's made for all day, any day, no matter the agenda. So I know what you might be thinking, another shoe brand, but Jays is really different. We fill the gap that currently exists between style, comfort, and functionality. Our shoes offer a custom adjustable fit, odor-free lining, oops-proof, eco-friendly materials, and a style that can go from the boardroom to happy hour and anywhere in between. Um, to date, we've taken Jays through a number of Kellogg courses, and we've seen some really exciting progress. Um, we saw over 6,400 website visits after launching our website three months ago and had over 110 potential customers sign up for our pre-sale wait list. Um, so what's next? Next and how can you get involved? Um, we're finalizing our shoes and preparing for our 200 pair pre-sale in the spring timeframe. So now is the perfect time to join our team. We're looking specifically for people that are interested in a digital marketing and social media internship roles to help us build out our branding and get people excited for our launch. Great. Thanks, Jamie. Up next is Lego. Jordan? Hey, everyone. Yeah, I'm Jordan. I'm also a first year Kellogg MBA student. And we all know it's a logistical nightmare to plan a fun night out with a group of friends. We love going to the hottest rooftop bar, the newest Instagram worthy activity, but it's difficult to find these experiences, coordinate reservations in advance and meet other like-minded groups of people, the spontaneous and extroverted adventure seekers. That's where Lego comes in. Lego is the only event planning company that offers a mystery surprise night of fun bringing together a diverse group of people while alleviating the stresses of coordination. We all know this is the world of Zoom fatigue. It's so real and we're more ready than ever to get out and meet people. So who are we looking for? We're looking for someone who can help with marketing, social media and communication. 
A time commitment is about five hours a week. And we're open to speaking to anyone passionate about our business. It's a bonus if you have a background in event coordination, entertainment, or hospitality. So join our room to learn more. Thanks, Jordan. Up next is Leva. Kate? Hi, everyone. My name is Kate Fawcett, and I'm the founder of Leva. Um, I started Leva after becoming fed up with the stilted connections made through existing networking platforms and the feeling that it was especially hard for women to meet uh, connections in meaningful ways. So I created Leva as a holistic and personalized approach to networking. Leva means lift in Latin, and my goal is to lift the current state of networking. We have three key features that do so. One, connections are made on the basis of shared hobbies through a filtering swipe algorithm. If two connections match, the two can even go engage in that shared hobby together. Two, we use elevator pitches um, included in profiles to hear directly from the user about what they're passionate about. And three, we utilize an all women's network. So uh, if you're ready to do away with the hollow connections that lead to nowhere and start, build, start building a genuine network, please come to my Zoom room after this to come chat. Great. Thanks so much, Kate. Up next is a uh, look. Karen. Hi guys. Um, my name is Karen Desai and I'm also a Kellogg MBA student and the founder of look. Um, so some context on look, um, Indian weddings are about three to four days long, full of grand events, but there's typically a pressure on all the guests to look the part without outfit repeating. Um, and each of these events uh, requires an outfit that's really hard to find and that could cost over $500 or more. So that's why we created Look, an online rental service dedicated to making South Asian fashion accessible in the US. Think Rent the, Run rent the Runway for Indian clothes. We've had over 115 customers across the US. We've been featured in Poets and Quants and in Business Insider. We're looking for a part-time intern or more, more than one, um, to help out with our UX, UI, operations or social media. Um, and we have an office space right here in Evanston. So you get the opportunity to work with our five person Kellogg team. Um, thank you. Great, thanks, Karen. Everyone, we're more than halfway done. We have about 10 more minutes and then we'll be opening up all of the Zoom rooms for everyone to circulate. Up next is New App. Hi everyone, um, we're Neuroscience Applications and we can read your mind. Um, I'm currently wearing one of several commercial devices that we leverage here at New App. Devices like these um, allow us to apply neuroscience in practical and powerful ways to give high performance athletes a competitive edge. This could be anything from getting in the zone to de-stressing or enhancing attention and working memory. Last quarter, we were very excited to collaborate with members of the US Olympic rowing team and using our MVP to evaluate their workout intensity and stressors during training. This quarter, we're refining our MVP and we're looking for individuals with experience in business finance, website development, or marketing. If you are interested in becoming a part of the next frontier in competitive advantage, my co-founder Kevin and I will be at the new app Zoom link. Thanks very much, we'll see you there. Thank you. Up next is opportunities. Hi everyone, my name is Sana and I'm a junior. I'm also the CEO of Opportunities. So Opportunities is basically a platform that connects high school students with nonprofit organizations. So we match the students to custom build internships at these organizations through a very personalized matching process. Currently, we're in the midst of a lot of matching and we're looking for someone to help us with operations and making our matching process way more efficient than it already is. Um, in addition to that, we're also looking for people to take on more lead, um, leadership roles as we go into the new academic year, because some people would be leading the team. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more, join my meeting room and I'm happy to chat. Great. Thank you. Up next is Palette. Hi, guys. I'm Nicola from Palette. I'm a Kellogg student and Bain & Company alum, and Palette is a dry bar for makeup. So basically, we're looking to launch a retail space that does quick, affordable, and inclusive makeovers. So this summer, we are part of the Jumpstart program, which is really exciting. And we're looking for another intern to come on the teams under a operations role, but really it's gonna be a jack of all trades. So you'll be helping launch the actual store, helping with the makeup artists, um, looking at retailing different merchandise and kind of getting your hands dirty on a really media experience. So let me know if you're interested in a summer internship. Great, thank you. Up next is Pivot. 
Yeah, hey everyone. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm a first year Kellogg student I'm working on Pivot, which is a culinary incubator for talented up and coming chefs uh, to validate, test, and de risk the launch of their own food ventures. Um, so, if you know the startup accelerator Y Combinator, you can sort of think of Pivot as the Y Combinator for chefs. Uh, so to launch our brand and start showcasing and promoting these chefs' work, we're actually going to be running a series of pop-up dining experiences around Chicago over the next few months, which, which the first one's happening on May 7th. Um, so to that end, we're looking for someone who is particularly skilled in photo and videography to help us put together some promotional content for our chef lineup. We're also looking for someone who knows their way around social media marketing um, to help us grow our following and anyone with mobile design chops uh, to help us optimize our site. So um, if you're interested in the culinary space and maybe want a chance at some free delicious food, uh, join me in the breakout. Great, thanks. Up next is QuickBoard. Hey everyone, my name is Han, and I'm a CS undergrad at Northwestern, and I'm one of the co-founders of QuickBoard. So QuickBoard is an online marketplace platform for university consultants, and we're aiming to solve two main issues. The first issue is that students interested in consulting can't find paid work because of either university policies or a lack of a reliable trust system. Second, small businesses around the country are, are very at risk due to the pandemic. This, there's a statistic that says that over 9, billion, or 9 million small businesses in the country are reported to, have, to be at risk of closing. Thus, we hope to create a platform that solves both of these issues by connecting the value creators with those that need value. Right now, we're looking for two people to join our team. First is an experienced web developer. This person needs to have experience with HTML, CSS, JS, full suite. And some of our future projects for this web developer will be to implement account management and the implementation of a video chat API into our website. Second, we're looking for a designer. So this designer will need to uh, have experience in web design, logo design, and social media design, and will be in charge of our whole social media presence. Come help us revolutionize the, the consulting industry. Thank you. Up next, we have five pitches left, then we're going to start opening up the Zoom rooms, uh, is Rhetoric. Hey everyone. My name is Raman. I'm uh, also a first year at Kellogg. I'm working on Rhetoric. So Rhetoric's a companion to video applications that provides real-time feedback on spoken communication. So you can think of it as Grammarly for Zoom. We have a prototype right now that is live, and we're launching a beta this week to start kicking off user testing. And we're also doing Jumpstart this summer. So we're looking for a marketing intern that's really passionate about public speaking and make the making the virtual Zoom environment a bit better. Uh, you're going to help out and directly own growth initiatives, user research, and social media. And we're also venture backed, so you're going to get the chance to work with a sizable marketing budget and get compensated. Uh, I will not be able to make the breakout rooms after this, but shoot me an email or fill out the Google form in the chat if you're interested. Great, thank you. Up next is Talaria. Hi guys, I'm Tucker. I am a first year Kellogg student and the founder and CEO of Talaria. Talaria is an end of life service and um, planning tool to help people uh, prepare for the end of life and help their family members deal with the challenging administrative tasks that come following the loss of a loved one. It's one of the most difficult times in their life and many people find that it takes them six to 12 months to complete the various tasks that they find themselves responsible for and unprepared for. We are looking for people to help with marketing, SEO, design, and operations. If anyone's interested, please feel free to reach out in the Zoom room following, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Tucker. Uh, up next, The Table. Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm CEO of The Table. So the table currently operates a late nice ghost, ghost kitchen. So what this is, is, it's a kitchen off campus and we prepare and deliver food to Northwestern students late at night. Our menu includes things like chicken and waffles, fries, and milkshakes. We're currently looking for someone to head up financials. This would entail creating financial models, determining optimal pricing, and coming up with more revenue streams. If you're really interested in the food and beverage industry and enjoy finance and accounting, the table is the place for you. Thank you. Up next, Venture Health Studio. Mismanagement of the COVID pandemic demonstrates that there's no clear leader in disease prevention. Persistent stigma surrounding mental health reveals that there are raging disparities uh, within our communities today. 
With much of the focus being on outcomes in healthcare, we need innovative solutions to tackle bigger problems and keeping people both physically and mentally healthy in the first place. My name is Chirag and I'm the president and co-founder of Venture Health Studio, a space where a diverse group of undergraduate and medical students are uniting to answer the question, how can we design and develop technological solutions to improve the health of cities and communities as we know them? Prior to Venture Health Studio, our co-founders led other startups to a collective $200,000 in funding, as well as features in the Obama Foundation, Forbes, and numerous Northwestern publications. With projects like a mental health tracking app for schools, a chronic illness disease education platform, and, held, and a handheld UV sterilizer, we are seeking driven students from all backgrounds and disciplines to join us in building the future of healthcare technology. If you strive to make social impact, want to lead in bringing products to market, and have an unwavering sense of curiosity, we'd love to chat. Great, thank you. Up And our final pitch tonight is Xena Developers. Hi, Xena Developers is a coding solutions consultancy that we started because we realized that one of the most important things CS companies look for when hiring for jobs and internships is project experience that you have outside your CS classes. We take on projects from the Evanston, Northwestern, and Garage community to help our employees get much, gain much needed experience and get paid depending on the project, while also providing coding solutions for our clients. So we currently have 16 developers and I think 10 currently running projects, but we always need more hands on deck. So our project, projects range from partnering with an Evanston company called InStore, who's trying to democratize pro product data for local stores, to building a new kind of NBA fantasy draft for another client. So if you're a part of Xena, you have complete flexibility about when you take on projects. Um, anyone who's open to learning new things and wants practical computer science experience to put on your resume or gain more knowledge would be a great fit here. There's no baseline experience required, but that being said, the more experienced you are, the more complex projects you'll be qualified for and the more money you can make. And for the garage startups listening on the client side of things, if you need any web development, um, app development, or technical consulting, please don't I just hesitate to reach out. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. That concludes the pitching portion of this evening. Uh, anyone in the Zoom room can go to the chat, check out the link. That's where you can find all of the details for the Zoom rooms or any forms that teams have posted today. Um, so for those of you that pitched, we are asking that you please leave this room and head over to your Zoom room. And uh, in the next couple of minutes, we'll invite all the students to head over to your Zoom rooms. So we encourage you all to talk amongst yourselves, make some new friends, learn some new stuff. Uh, the garage staff will stay on this room if anyone has any questions questions or any any um any issues and if anyone comes late we can help direct them to your room as well so we hope that you enjoy meeting each other happy matchmaking and thanks to the admitted students for watching on youtube live thanks everyone All right, I think our speakers are have successfully migrated over to their Zoom rooms. For those of you that are looking to meet teams, if you check out the uh, short link in the chat, the garage.nu slash startup matchmaking, they'll take you to the Google Doc and you can see all of the teams that pitched tonight as well as their corresponding um, Zoom rooms. So we encourage you to go check out those rooms and bounce around a little bit and chat with some different teams. Hi, Alyssa. I'm actually here with the Daily. Uh, hey, Alyssa.